Hi, word nerds. So this one requires a little more cutting, a little more gluing, but um, it's because it's suffixes that form adjectives. So it's one of those where we have multiples in one. So if you can see, I cut out these boxes. Um, I have not done any flaps yet because I wanted to do this on camera. And then I took all of these and I have them in different little um, little cards. So please don't walk up to me and ask me how to cut this out because I've got to be honest, it's a little irritating when you guys do that when I do it in the video. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do now that we have this, we did one like this a while back, but it's been months. You're going to take this half and you're going to fold it onto the other side. Nice and neat. Okay. Now with what's folded over, I'm going to take my scissors and I can see through. Um, it's a little hard for you guys to do it on my version, but you can see through. You're going to cut on what you can see through up until the folded corner. So you create your flaps. I'm cutting these out. So it's a foldable, but it goes the opposite direction than most of the foldables we do. That's just how this one does. And I didn't create it, so we're just going along with it. Alright, so we have this and it does that. So now we are going to glue these on there um, so that they don't get lost because that would be terrible. So we are going to do, oh no, hopefully I don't run out of glue. Um, we're going to do able ible up on the very top. And try to make sure you're doing the same ones that I'm doing on the same lines. That way you don't have to think about which flap you're opening when I'm going over the words. Okay, able and ible. On the very top. Next one we're going to do is ish. Now in case any of you ask, the word fish is an exception. It is not an adjective. These are adjectives that have these endings. Um, if we say the word fish, it's not describing anything. It is a thing. So we have ish and ick. I see is next. Right, next up we have I V E. Then we have O U S. And then L Y. So now you can get this glued into your official notebook. I'm going to glue mine towards the center. That way when I pull these out, they're not hanging out onto my desk and making it kind of awkward to write on. So the further you get it into the center of your notebook, probably the better off it's going to go for you when you're trying to write on it later. I'm almost out of glue, so somebody remind me to put glue in my stuff so that next time I do these at home, I'm not going to run out. Alright, so I have these towards the center, so I can pull them out. Okay. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the definition on the left and the words that connect on the right. So for able and ible, the word, the phrase is can be done. 
able and ible is can be done. So we have things like desirable, payable, it's able to be paid, and desirable is able to be desired. Visible is able to be seen. Okay, can be done. Able to. Okay, then we also have reversible. So it's able to be reversed. Forget an S, reversible. It's right here. And then we have edible, which is able to be eaten. Okay, so I messed up on reversible a little bit, but it's R E V E R S I B L E. All right, ish. Ish means. Having the character of having the character of so like sluggish you have the character of a slug being real slow if you are feverish you have the character of a fever which is hot and high Snobbish is the character of a snob, a snobby. Newish means it's the character of being new without actually being new. And then last one is very familiar to us, it's selfish. The character of being focused on yourself. Oh man, I'm sorry, I have to watch this camera. I'm just tilting it all sorts of ways. Okay, I'll leave it here for a second so you can catch up. Because I did this wrong. Okay, sluggish, feverish, snobbish, newish, selfish. Okay, ick, I see. This is the quality or relation of something. So we have economic, which is related to the economy, which as we have learned is money. Don't want to forget that because that word's going to keep coming up over and over and over in social studies throughout the years. We have domestic. So domestic is related to where somebody lives. like. Their domicile is a fancy word for that. We have academic, which is quality or related to, um, like being good on your, well, I was about to say academics, but like your learning. We also have scientific, which is related to science. And we also have electronic, which is related to electricity. And I guess I could have left the S off. That was an accident. But electronic also connects to electronics. We have IVE which is having the nature of so like the word festive it's the nature of a festival sensitive is the nature of really paying attention to your senses and someone who's sensitive really feels things. Cooperative is the nature of cooperation. Co 
Oh my goodness, what in the world is going on with my brain tonight? A T I V E. I'm so sorry. I'm not normally this bad at spelling. Co C O O P E R A T I V E. We have aggressive, which is the quality of being having aggression. So you're being really strong and mean. And then attractive, which is the quality of having attraction. So something looks really good to somebody, whether it's a person's appearance or like a plate of cookies, it looks good. OUS is, to me, it says having the quality of, but I think I always full of is kind of what I think. Um, but it's also quality of. So we have adventurous, which is full of adventure or quality of adventure. We have courageous, which is the quality of courage or being full of courage. We have outrageous which is full of outrage. Luxurious. L-U-X. U-R-I-U-S. So that is full of luxury. Luxury means like the good life. Very fancy, very rich, very wealthy. And hazardous. And a hazard is something that is dangerous. So that's full of danger. All right, LY is like, or once again, the quality of. So if someone is friendly, they are like a friend or they have the quality of being a friend. It is lovely. It is like love or the quality of love. So it's really nice. If it's manly. It's like a man or the quality of a man. Deadly. Is like the dead. So like deadly, we usually think of as being kind of a synonym for dangerous. So if it's like dead, then you could be like that if you get <laughs> if you come into terms with that and then chili is like a chill all right guys we did it see ya